Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and Joe targeting bus again. Uh, we've been here roughly three hours in the daylight. And uh, I didn't get anything. I had three rods out, but didn't, I didn't get anything at all. But Joe managed to catch first class lovely little uh, place this one here and uh, second class beautiful bus measured 53 centimeters and uh, he had the um, what three three uh, call this I think or four something like that so he's been busy while I've been uh, planking but I've just literally had my first pass. I'll put it on here now. Well, Blanc's beating finally. Nice little skinny pass. There we go. Only a small one. I'll get this released. Yeah, uh, we came here, fished the ebb tide a couple of hours and uh, in the daylight, it was lovely sunset as well and this mark fishes better in darkness so hopefully good signs to come but I was fishing three rows here now I'm down to one There's loads of weed out there at the moment George just pulled in a like a massive, massive pile of kelp, kelp weed. So what I'm gonna do now, just hold the rod and get close to the water's edge. Otherwise, you're just gonna get like loads of kelp wrap around the line. Uh, hopefully that um, tide wash all the weed off. Yeah, not a bad side here. I think it's 4.1 meter tide. Hopefully find that big bus. But so far, between us two bus. Few call this in a local place. Yeah, get this rod out now. Hopefully get back here with a better stamp of fish. Right, they're getting bigger. Not massive, but better than the first one. There we go. Another school of bass. Probably in size, but as you can see, these bass been spawning all winter. It's hard to meet on this one. So get this on hook, nice hook as well. Get this on hook and then hopefully find that big one, big one we're after. Uh, what I'm doing now, just casting out and holding the rod. By far the best uh, best way to fish for bass. Just feeling that initial bite, had a little bite and then just came back and took it. Boom, bass on. Right, get this one back guys. I'm not going to uh, bait out in the water, but get a fresh bait out now. Uh, hopefully, find that big basket after. One second. Chaos. Yeah, 
just wheel this one here. Look behind, road's going again. So we've managed to get a, a second rod out with the weed cleared enough. So it looks like the shawl moved in. So bus number four for the evening. And I'll sat now, <laughs> lost count uh, for the year. Uh, what were we on? 48 years. 50, 52 bus, I think, for the year. Fish are feeding, guys. Um, I mentioned to Joe, I said the last two hours before the better fishing here. As soon as I said that, look behind me, fish on. There have to be quick uh, tide behind me. Just move over here. Hopefully, go past these uh, schooler bass and they find that big one. There are some big ones out there. Just my little town. Going past these uh, small ones. Yeah, fishing with blow look. I've got a um, squid and a mackerel with me, but I wanted to fish. Uh, Big squid bait or mackerel bait for big bass, but uh, it's hard to <laughs> hard to keep uh, two rods in the water. So, I'm just concentrate on the worm, but worm base at the moment. So, uh, get back here if you get anything else. As you can see, guys, I'm back in the car. Knackered, say the least. Um, and Tolly, four bass, biggest one, probably 47 centimeter mark. But um, Jordan, all right, uh, he got the biggest of the evening, 53 centimeter bass. He had another one, 42, and a good few Coley. And a nice place uh, in the first cast. So, Pretty slow for this uh, beach sanded, but it's one of them, uh, if the bass are there, you'll catch them. If they aren't there, you're not going to catch them. As you know, uh, bass do move in with shoals, and then they're not going to stay there <laughs> all day and every day. I can come here, catch 10 bass this evening, and come back here at exactly the same time, and I'm not, I'm not guaranteed to catch another 10. So they do move in shoals, you just got to time it well you'll catch him then hopefully the video turned out all right uh it's not been the most uh, predictive one for me in a way and uh not the most educational one i like to um do my baiting up and show my rigs and and a half where to cast for bass and how to how to fish for them but it's just been one of them uh didn't have chance to do that this evening yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed it guys um I know uh, more than half of you guys are watching the channel on TV and uh, forgetting to hit that like button for me. So if you do that for us, uh, I'll really appreciate it. It goes a long way, helps the channel out anyway. Yeah, that's it for tonight's uh, bass session, guys. Still on the hunt for PB. Hopefully next session, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching and tight lines.